Hi. I've been promoting MMT for a long time, probably longer than I want to admit, because while I've seen the growth of coverage and the gains in traction among some people, MMT still remains widely misunderstood or, or even denied. The denial is quite large, particularly among entrenched interests of the neoliberal elite who continue to promote their failed ideas. It's understandable, perhaps, because that's how they cling to power, and that's how they've been able to sustain a steady flow of wealth to themselves at the expense of everybody else. But it's disheartening and it's frustrating to see this, to see a world where really there's abundance, yet we act as if there's lack, lack of money, lack of resources, lack of means, lack of talent. And we see the intentional distortion of the truth and the facts and the evil scapegoating of hardworking industrious people who are both willing and capable of contributing to society, but they're made to look like lazy moochers. These are the very people who actually work and produce the things we all need, while it's the owners of capital. They're the lazy bloodsuckers, but they're made to look as if they're our saviors, the saviors of us all, when in fact they're the ones sucking off the hard work of those who toil, and they, then they bribe the system with that ill-gotten wealth to ensure that it continues in their favor until everyone is sucked dry. The intentional distortion of the truth has become so obvious and so blatant, the lies are everywhere. It's frustrating. But in the end, we must continue. We must keep up the fight. Believe me, I've wanted to walk away from this cause for a long time. What the hell has it brought me? Ridicule, frustration, anger? But I'm not walking away. No, I'm not walking away. And those of you who are committed to seeing a better world, a world that will offer prosperity for all and not just an elite few, must continue to fight on as well. We must have perseverance and confidence in ourselves and in our cause above all. We must believe that this thing can be attained. This is our sacrifice. What is perseverance anyway? It's the hard work that we have to do even after we're tired of having already done a lot of hard work. Great change is achieved not by strength, but by perseverance. Martin Luther King once said that change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continued struggle. He was speaking about freedom, but the same message applies in what we're doing. And in a sense, we're also fighting for freedom. Freedom from the oppression of a dogma that has been so destructive to so many. You know, I get so many nasty and hateful comments on these videos, mainly by idiots. But that may, in fact, be a way to gauge the success of these ideas. You see, success can often be measured by the opposition you've encountered and the courage with which you have maintained the struggle against overwhelming odds. Gandhi said it best. First they ignore you, then they ridicule you, then they attack you, then you win. And Winston Churchill had this to say about the truth, that it is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it, ignorance may deride it, but in the end, there it is. We're fighting against a deep-seated ignorance and a callous, selfish cynicism that threatens to create poverty and hardship for so many people. The people who would deny us and deny our, our, our ideas, display the highest form of ignorance by attacking and rejecting things they don't know anything about. And the mainstream media is complicit in the spread of these ideas. That means CNBC, Fox, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, The New York Times, The Washington Post, The Wall Street Journal, all of them. By pumping us up with the opinions of the uneducated, the media promotes and sustains the ignorance of us all and this ignorance is the root of all evil. Listen, we may be overwhelmed. We may have billionaires like Pete Peterson spreading his poisonous propaganda. We may have entrenched elite in the universities and in the business world and in the media all aligned against us. But remember, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. The fight for truth and justice is never easy. The fight against corruption, tyranny, and oppression is never easy. It never has been, and it never will. It exacts a toll on ourselves, our families, our friends, our kids. But I believe that's a price worth paying. It's a fight for the right to hold on to what rightfully belongs to us, and it's a fight for the truth. I can tell you this. 
I may not know what the keys to success are, but I'm sure one thing. The key to failure is trying to please everybody. As I said, this cause has brought me nothing but frustration, ridicule, and an outcry of opposition. But that's not failure. That's success. And I'm going to continue in doing exactly what I have been doing. In addition, I'm going to ask all of you who believe in this cause to continue as well. Be yourself. Educate yourself. Have faith in these ideas. Don't go out and endeavor to please everybody. Stick to the truth. Tell it like it is. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. We can only lose not because we have the wrong ideas, because we don't, or that we have a lack of resources. We can only lose because of a lack of will. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. This is Mike Norman saying see you next time. Bye-bye.